Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Today we've got Meg and Charlie. We're going down to the third round of the Essex League cross country. Um, I've only done one Essex League cross country this season. Um, last time I came fourth, it was at, um, where was the last one? At Rittle College. Today we're in yeah, Great Notley Country Park, which is um, in Braintree. Get, gonna get warmed up and get ready for yeah, another muddy cross country race. Typical cross country conditions today. Absolutely horrible. Misty, it's sort of raining but not raining. Freezing cold. And then these two are clearly wrapped up. I'm gonna be running around in a t-shirt in just about, a vest top in just about an hour's time. But yeah, get ready, get warmed up and have some fun. So, uh, heading down to the start of the race, supporters crew. Yeah, we're here. Wrapped up, ready to go. Um, we're gonna do some score predictions. Yeah, when Ben's uh, not here though, so he can say what Yeah, when really Ben's think. not here. Okay, fine. <laughs> you don't want to give away what you think. <laughs> um, no. I mean, I'll, I'll give away mine. Go yeah, on, do then. it now, I want to hear it. All right, okay. okay. So, I think it's gonna be a top three. And that's because I don't do losing, so. <laughs> Anything less than the top three, Ben, I'm going to be disappointed with you. I'm not going to talk to you the whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll I'm say, I think you're going to come third today. Third? Well, yeah. yeah, you've got to say a position. Oh, uh, I think third as well. Maybe, maybe actually pushing second. Yeah. We can, we can we can get a second place if it's not if you don't fall over like your park run last week. Yeah. In the mud <laughs> twice. Then I oh, think yeah. you're up for, up for third. Up for third, yeah. And I reckon, yeah, going to be strong today. We've, we, I've got a good feeling. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, Tom. Nice one. Thanks for your insight. Right, so I'm just on, about to go for my warm up. Going to do about 2k. Um, nice and easy, then a few strides, probably over here. Um, and then, yeah, get ready to go. It's a three lap course today in the mud. There's some quick guys here, so maybe top three is not on the cars, but we'll see. We'll give it a good go. See you in a bit. Adios. <laughs> So I just did a little course recce. Um, the course is really, really muddy out there. Um, nice and slippy. I've got a funny feeling I might get caught out wearing trail shoes today, but um, yeah, we'll give it a good go. Just run as fast as I can, try and keep on my feet, but I wouldn't be surprised if I fall over. Camera is gonna be uh, on my head, giving you a point of view. Um, hopefully catch me as I fall over, <laughs> like last week. Um, yeah, excited, we've got about five minutes until it starts. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, let's get my final few strides in. Get over to the start line. Let's go.
lost it. Here he is. So yeah, I just finished the race. I came third place today, <laughs> plus 40. Um, yeah, I had a pretty terrible race. Um, just my lungs felt really, like almost like they didn't have enough capacity today. Like, I, don't know, I couldn't get the breathing right, my legs felt heavy, everything just didn't go well. I couldn't grip on the hills, but yeah, managed to ground it out, got it done. Uh, just treat it as a training run. And, yeah, that's, that's all I could really say for that one. Well done, huh? Cheers. You did so good. You didn't go and it was a fun race to watch yeah. as well. I'm not too disheartened, I just know that. Or maybe I pushed too hard on Tuesday night in my training, so my legs just weren't there today. And either. also, I think you have to remember that you he's new to cross-country races. We've only done a couple. Like yeah. You're going to learn different things. This is a really hilly course. Yeah. And your shoes are quite right, your yeah. legs are feeling heavy. Like You learn different things yeah. each time, don't you? Yeah, definitely. And like, you see these guys who've been doing it every single year for years. Yeah. And like they're way, like they're, they're yeah. yeah, and a lot of them are much older and they're way yeah. ahead, like it's crazy. Well, the guy who, you got time. the guy who I got beaten by on the last race, who came third last time, came fourth today, so if I'd have run well, I should have been in the top 10, but yeah, I came 43rd. Oh, but, oh well, I was struggling to hit four minute kilometers, and that I usually do that on my easy runs. So. Right, we're leaving, well done. Cheers, darling. Taking it as an experience today. Yeah. All experience, ups and downs. I was just saying to my coach, I had one of my best um, sessions of the year on Tuesday night, and today I felt completely flat. So, yeah, just one of those. Take it as experience and move on to the next one. <laughs> so, just got back from the cross country. Um, yeah, nothing really to say today apart from the race didn't go very well. Um, but something has just arrived that's definitely going to cheer me up. Um, some headphones from a company called MyFo. Now, these have just been um, sent out to me. Um, it's not a paid endorsement. I haven't paid for these headphones though. Um, and they've just asked me to, yeah, give them a try, let you know how I get on well with them, um, if I get on well with them. So yeah, some wireless earphones, um, 150 hours of playtime, including the case, and I believe they last for 10 hours when they're in my ear. So I'm just gonna open them, have a look. Oh, very nice. Nice casing. Cool, look at that. Very fancy. So these are the MyFo 05 squared, I believe, is, is the model. They come in this nice little case, metal case, maybe aluminium. Here they are. Nice little earphones there, look quite premium in this case. This is my phone on there. Um, so yeah, I'll give these a try over the next few days. Um, so expect a more full review over the next few weeks. Just going to put them in my ears for the first time. Oh wow. Yeah, they fit really nice. Cool. Can't hear a thing now, very very much noise cancelling. If the build quality is anything to go by, I'm sure I'm gonna get on well with those, but yeah, as I said, I'll give you my first impressions um, in the next few videos. Okay, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a race recap. I usually do this as a sort of second video, but I thought I'd chuck it in at the end of today's race vlog. Yeah, shout out to Meg and Charlie. The footage looked really good there. Um, let's have a look on Strava. So the race started with a 325 kilometer, which is pretty good. That's probably where I wanted to be um, for the entire race. But anyway, it didn't happen today. The second kilometer, 333. So I was already going backwards. And then by the third kilometer, um, I sort of settled in at around that four minute kilometre pace, which for me is is pretty pedestrian. That's more of a, a steady run, but the course is really difficult today. L lots and lots of mud. And I definitely would say I struggled with confidence today in terms of when I did my warm up, um, I was slipping and sliding all over the place in my trail shoes. Um, yeah, I definitely need to get myself some, some cross country spikes because the mud was just packing into the bottom of my um, trail shoes and I was just slipping and sliding around. Um, it was like I was wearing slippers at some point. So um, yeah, whenever it came to a hilly section, I was having to take it easy. Um, people were passing me and that really did affect my sort of confidence today. I'm not used to, to getting passed by um, people on the course as much as I was today. So yeah, that definitely affected me sort of psychologically. Also struggled with my breathing today. 
I've just done a COVID test, which is um, negative. I've been doing them throughout the week just to make sure I was healthy for this race. Um, so I haven't got COVID, so I'm not really sure why I was um, struggling in terms of my, my lungs today. I just had really shallow breathing. Maybe it was the cold, the humidity, I'm not sure, but it was just one of those days. My legs also felt heavy. Um, I've t the last three days I've sort of done the easy runs so that I was fresh for this one. And waking up I felt fresh, I got there, I felt fresh. The warm up was alright, I did a few strides, um, yeah, felt normal. The race got going and as soon as yeah, we got into those really muddy sections it was, it was really difficult. I don't know if it was the shoes or... Anyway, I just didn't have a great race today. Finished 43rd on the day, a good 40 positions behind what I would consider a good day for me so yeah nothing else to say really apart from it was a bad day at the office but it's important to share those with um, my journey on here here on YouTube you can't have a great race every day um, if I if I'd have performed well I'd have been in the around the top 10 today there's some really quick guys there um, from Essex we had Adam Hickey um, the Jack the Hocker athlete was there again um, Ben from Havering came fourth who um, came third in the previous one and I almost caught him um, at the last meet so yeah just not the best race for me today I'm not really sure my coach and I were trying to put our fingers on it maybe I pushed a little bit too hard on Tuesday night with my um, session um, I've also raced quite a lot recently so maybe it's just a build up um, of fatigue hope you enjoyed that one it just goes to show that every ra not every race can go well um, and you can't always put your finger on why I've got these headphones certainly to cheer me up I'll be taking those out on some, some runs in the week um, they seem very premium from what I can tell so far. I believe they're around £110 on Amazon. So yeah, you can go check them out, have a little look at the specs. Um, expect a full review over the next few weeks on them. But yeah, thanks for watching again. Really cool footage there. So I'll definitely be getting Charlie and Meg to come out to the next one. Um, and aspire to run and run to inspire. And we'll see you with a vlog very soon. Bye-bye.